Today we're taking a look at the fascinating world of anti-drone technology. And we're focusing on a company that's making waves globally, Tianjin Yunshan UAV Technology from China. If you've ever wondered how we could protect our skies from rogue drones, or why this tech is becoming such a big deal, stick around. This technology and industry is booming. Let's talk about it. Hey everyone, it's Surant in China. How y'all doing today? I hope you're having a lovely day. I'm having a fantastic day over here in Shenzhen, though truth be told, not only is it hot, but I've been super busy. As I mentioned in my last video, we did just purchase a new home. Now, not only are we getting that new home ready before we move in, but of course, we're going to have to pack up and get out of the old house as well. As such, I may not be posting as many videos per week as I used to, but rest assured in the end, it'll all be worth it when I make some videos to share the process of purchasing a new home in China and just everything that goes into it and just how much we're going to save on the cost of living in the long run. It really is amazing. And so are all of you for helping to support the channel. It's really easy subscribe, thumbs up, coffee, you know the deal. But for now, let's get back to today's topic because it is very, very interesting. So what's the deal with drones and anti-drones anyway? Well, drones are everywhere and very much in the news these days. Aside from becoming key tools in military operations all around the globe, they're also used for commercial services like aerial photography and high-speed delivery services, just to name a couple. They've also become increasingly popular with hobbyists and content creators. But with their rise, there's a growing problem. Unauthorized drones flying near airports, power plants, or other sensitive private areas. These rogue drones can pose serious risks like disrupting air traffic or even spying on critical infrastructure or our private lives. That's where anti-drone technology comes in. As one expert put it, if drones are the spear, anti-drone systems are the shield. And Tianjin Yunshang is crafting some of the most advanced shields out there. Based in Tianjin, China, Yunshang is quickly becoming a global leader in counter drone technology. Their systems are already being used by major players like China State Grid, showing just how trusted their technology is. But what makes their approach so special? Well, it comes down to three key areas. Radar, electromagnetic interference, and artificial intelligence. And these aren't just buzzwords. They're the backbone of how Yunshan detects and stops drones in their tracks. Let's start with their flagship product, a portable jammer that fits in a backpack. Now, don't let the size fool you. This thing is powerful. It works by analyzing the communication signals between a drone and its controller. Think of it like eavesdropping on the drone's conversation with its operator. Once it locks onto those signals, it can jam the drone's controls, video feed, or even its navigation system. This forces the drone to either land or return to its starting point. Pretty cool, right? But here's where it gets even more impressive. Yunshang's jammer doesn't just disrupt signals, it can send fake navigation data to confuse the drone. This is called GPS spoofing, and it tricks the drone into thinking it's somewhere else. The system supports multiple navigation systems like China's Beidou, the US's GPS, and Europe's Galileo. This means it can handle drones from all over the world, no matter what navigation tech they're using. It's like a universal remote for shutting down drones. Now let's take a look at the tech behind this. 
Yunsheng's jammer combines several advanced features into one device. Signal analysis, decryption, directional positioning, and multi-layer interference. Signal analysis lets it identify the drone's unique communication patterns. Decryption helps it to crack the code of those signals. Directional positioning pinpoints exactly where the drone is, and multi-layer interference ensures it can disrupt multiple types of signals at once. This all-in-one approach makes it incredibly versatile for both commercial and defensive applications. Why is this such a big deal? Well, China's drone industry is massive. In the first half of 2024 alone, 600,000 new drones were registered, bringing the total to more than 1.4 million. And this does not include military drones or applications. That's a 48% jump from the previous year. With so many drones in the sky, the need for countermeasures is skyrocketing. China's anti-drone market reflects this. It grew from just 91 million yuan, or about $12.5 million in 2014, to 1.13 billion yuan in 2023. Analysts predict it'll hit 2.4 billion yuan this year. That's a huge leap and it shows how critical this tech is becoming. And Yunshan isn't just keeping up with the competition. They're setting the pace. Their systems are designed to tackle what's known as low, slow, and small drones. These are the ones that fly close to the ground, move slowly, and are tough to spot on traditional radar. By combining radar with AI-driven sensor fusion, Yunshang's tech can detect these elusive drones with pinpoint accuracy. Sensor fusion, by the way, is when you combine data from multiple sensors, like radar, cameras, and radio frequency detectors, to get a clearer picture of what's happening. It's like giving the system superhuman vision. The focus on AI is a game changer. Artificial intelligence helps Yunsheng's systems to analyze data in real time, distinguish drones from other objects, and decide the best way to neutralize them. For example, their systems can tell the difference between a rogue drone and a bird, reducing false alarms. This is crucial in busy urban environments where you don't want to accidentally jam a delivery drone or a hobbyist's quadcopter. AI also makes these systems faster and more autonomous, meaning they can react to threats without constant human oversight. Yunshang's tech isn't just about jamming signals, though. They're also working on broader solutions for what's called the low-altitude economy. This is the idea that drones and other low-flying vehicles will play a huge role in future cities. Think delivery drones, air taxis, and more. But to make that safe, you need robust systems to manage and protect that airspace. Yunsheng's advancements in swarm defense, stopping groups of coordinated drones, and low-cost surveillance networks are catching the attention not just in China, but globally. In fact, China's anti-drone tech is starting to set global benchmarks. Unlike some older systems that rely on bulky equipment, Yunxiang's portable solutions are lightweight and adaptable. This makes them ideal for everything from securing a single building to protecting entire cities. And with exports on the rise, Chinese companies like Yunsheng are poised to capture a huge slice of the global anti-drone market. Now let's talk about the bigger picture. Yunsheng's success is backed by serious support. They've received funding from Tianjin SME Credit Financing Guarantee, a state-backed firm that's betting big on China's low-altitude economy. This isn't just about money. It's about trust. 
Yunsheng's core technologies, like their navigation spoofers and satellite timing services, have passed rigorous national certifications. In fact, they're only one of 14 companies in China whose equipment has met those top-tier standards. That's a huge deal and shows how reliable their tech really is. This support is part of a broader push in China to integrate anti-drone tech into smart city infrastructure. Imagine a future where cities have layered defense systems, radars, jammers, and AI working together to keep the skies safe. Yunsheng is at the forefront of this vision, helping to define how urban air safety will look in the coming years. But it's not just about tech, it's also about strategy. China's been studying how drones are used in conflicts, like in Ukraine, to refine their countermeasures. For example, their systems are designed to handle drone swarms, where multiple drones attack at once. This is a growing threat, and Yunshang's ability to counter it with electromagnetic pulses or laser-based systems shows their thinking ahead. And speaking of lasers, China's also investing heavily in directed energy weapons, like the Silent Hunter system by China Poly Technologies. They use high-powered lasers to burn through drone components from a distance. While Yunsheng's focus is more on jammers and radar, their work complements these other advancements, creating a layered defense approach that combines detection, jamming, and even physical destruction, if required. So what's next for Yunshang? Well, as drone technology evolves, so do threats. Drones are getting smaller, faster, and smarter, which means anti-drone systems have to keep up. Yunshang is already working on next-gen solutions, like integrating their jammers with 3D radar and electro-optical sensors for even better detection. They're also exploring how to make their systems more autonomous, reducing the need for human operators in high-pressure situations. Now, I know you're thinking, why does this matter to all of us? Well, drones aren't just a military concern. They're a civilian one also. From protecting airports to securing public events and privacy, anti-drone technology is becoming essential for safety and security on many fronts. Companies like Yunshang are not only addressing today's threats, but also shaping the future of how we manage our increasingly crowded skies. Well, that's all for today's deep dive into Tianjin Yunshang's anti-drone technology. What do you think? Do you think drones, if left unchecked, present a clear and present danger to military and personal privacy and security? Let me know what you think in the comments below. And as always, thank you so much for joining me today, and we will see you in the next video. Zai Jen.